Hey, everybody. Welcome to Nicaragua on the island of Ometepe, that volcano in the background. <laughs> mm, I hope you can hear me okay. It's a bit windy up here. How's the sound now, Misty? Is it okay? It's a little um, soft, but otherwise we can okay. hear you. Okay. Are you, you're not able to turn my volume up, are you? Um, testing, testing. Hello, I can't hello, turn hello. your, yeah, you're fine once you talk up a little bit. You were just starting okay. to talk a little okay. soft. Okay. Okay. I'll talk louder. How's that? Good. Okay. I'm going to assume it's good. All right. So we are going to start standing if you are able to do that. Um, and if your body says no standing today, then don't stand. We're just going to do a little bit of movement, a little bit of energy clearing today. I'm in a community with a lot of people, so just feeling a lot of other people's energies and so I need to do this and I'm imagining you might too. So let's just start by shaking out the body a little bit. Moving however feels good to you. Whether it's shaking or a little bit of stretching. Whatever your body says it needs right now. I'll be doing a little bit of standing arching the back, a little bit of cat cow standing with your hands on your knees if that feels good. So you'll arch your back up and then arch your back the other way. Do a few of those. When the head comes up, you can breathe in. And when the head goes down, you breathe out. It oh, looks like this. Breathe into your belly. And then the out breath. If it feels good, make a sound with the out breath. Okay, when coming to standing. And this is going to be the motion that we're going to do. So you're going to let your hands lift above your head and then hands will come down in front of your body. Well, that's the motion. Knees are bent and a little bit about shoulder width or a little bit further apart for your feet. And again, hands are going to come up to the sky and then down in front of the body. And as always, listen to your own body. If you're struggling with shoulder issues or whatever and you don't want to do this movement or you want to just go part way up and do that. And we're going to combine it with the breath. So we're breathing in. And if you like to imagine things, you can imagine breathing in goodness, love, peace, um, whatever you're needing. And then as you go down the body, you're breathing out and you're releasing whatever you don't need into the earth. Breathing in, hands go up. Breathing out, hands go down in front of the body and once you've got the movement and the breath combined you can close your eyes if you want to really feel your feet grounded into the earth just continue that cycle of breathing in and you're collecting your energy or prana whatever you want to call it hold energy from the universe and then you're breathing out Scanning the body with your hands, 
imagining that as the hands go down the body, you're releasing anything that's stuck or blocked in your body. Energies moving down and you're releasing what you don't need into the earth as the hands move down the body. Do that a few more times. I'm just going to be quiet so you can really sense into your own body. One more time. And at the ending of this one, shake your hands out, imagining that energy is just shaken off. Anything you don't need back into the earth. And then allow your hands, so if you believe in auras or energy fields, imagining that you have um, an oblong, spherical, bubble around you of your own energy and you can picture it as a color or just white light and allow the hands to kind of move out to where you are imagining this to be just sense yourself in your own energy Again, imagining it as light or color, if you'd like. Imagine yourself protected, safe. And placing one hand below the belly button and the other hand on top, bending the knees. This is the Dantian and Qigong, the energy center. So just as you bend your knees and place your hands over this part, spot on your body, imagining that this is your center, the power, the power is here, feeling it, even if you're not feeling super empowered today, imagining being a little more grounded, a little more connected to the earth. Then we're just going to shift back and forth from one foot to the next. Very, you can go fast or slow, whatever your body is needing right now. And you're just going to be feeling the bottoms of your feet. If you'd like, you can close your eyes to be more inward, more focused on your own body. And maybe it feels good to place a hand on the heart or a hand on the heart and one on the belly. Given yourself love, some care, feeling the body. I'm here, listening. Feeling the feet. And then coming to stillness, knees bent. And imagining that you can breathe in through the top of your head. Imagine that the in-breath goes into your heart. The heart expands. And then as you breathe out, imagine that the energy, the breath, goes down through the body and down into your feet, down into the earth, connecting you deeply with Mama Earth. Watch your mama. You can imagine roots maybe growing out of the bottoms of your feet. When I'm sitting, so if you're sitting, I like to imagine the root growing out of my tailbone, out of the bottom of my spine. So whether you're sitting or standing, see what resonates more. Placing your hands on your body anywhere you wish feels good. And breathing in through the crown into the heart. Diffusing the heart with universal love, peace, and then breathing down, heart relaxes, and energy moves down the body, 
imagining that the out breath can move down your entire body, down both of your legs, and then down through your feet, imagining these roots growing out of the bottoms of your feet or your spine, down deep, deep, deep into the earth. Connecting these roots with all the trees on the land around you. Connecting you deeply with the other beings, these tree beings around you. And rooting you and, and helping stabilize you even further. Just doing several in-breaths and out-breaths in that way. Breathing in through the crown, into the heart, down through the body, into the earth. Just kind of imagining it circling like that. And if you're tired of standing like I am, you can find your seat. I'm just going to keep doing that same type of breath. Continuing with the breath and the visualization. Finding the posture you want to meditate in, whether it's sitting or standing or lying down. And then switching the direction of your breath or the the you know, visualization rather and imagining that you can breathe up from your root so much like a tree would uh, absorb water. Um, you're like absorbing earth energy with your in-breath. It's coming up maybe through the sacrum if you're sitting, if you're standing, and maybe it's coming through roots through your feet but you're breathing up this earth energy into the heart. And then as you breathe out, it's moving up through the head. So it's, it's going in the upward direction now. Breathing in that stabilizing earth energy. And breathing out into the cosmos. Maybe you like to imagine your care, your love dispersing throughout the universe to the top of your head. And again, if what I'm saying isn't resonant, then, or doesn't feel right to you, go with what is feeling right to you in this moment. And always disregard any suggestions that I have.
And then I invite you to shift to a complete circle with your breath. So you'll be breathing up into your heart from the ground. And then on the out breath, the breath moves up through the head, out into the space above your head, collecting that energy from nature, from the air above you, from the universe, and then breathing that in through the head into the heart and breathing out down into the earth and then breathing up from the earth and into the heart, breathing out and up through the head. So just what we were doing before, but combining Combining the up and the down until, you know, you breathe up on one breath cycle, breathing into the heart and up and out, and up in the head, and then breathing in from the universe into the heart and down into the earth. I'm just repeating that cycle many times. It's getting windy here, so I'm going to mute myself for a moment. Just repeating that visualization and that imagination of how the breath is moving that is resonating for you and if not just simply focusing on your breath or your mantra or whatever you use as your object of focus
I'd invite you now to release the visualization and tune in to just the simplicity of your own breath, the sensations of the in-breath and the out-breath. If you really find that you like, you feel drawn to continuing the visualization in one direction or the other or in both directions, by all means, continue that. Sometimes when I'm feeling ungrounded, I'll just do that repetitively. Um, when I'm not meditating, when my eyes are open and I'm interacting with people, I'll just imagine the breath kind of going through me as a channel. And it's it's really useful. So if you are still finding it useful, you can continue. And otherwise, you can just release the visualization and tune in to the sensations of breath. If you're tuning into the sensations of breath without the visualization, seeing where it's easiest to observe your breath, whether that might be at the tip of your nose, might be sort of at the back of your nose or like the back of your throat. Some people might find it easiest to feel the expansion of the chest wall or the heart space, noticing that it expands not just in front direction, but the chest actually expands the sides, front and back. So just a 360 expansion. Maybe you're feeling that most easily today. Or maybe you feel as you breathe in the belly expanding. And either way, even if you're not focused on the belly, making sure that you have a soft belly, ideally not having tight clothing on. If, you, if you're in a space, you can un, unzip or unbutton your pants if they're too tight. Really allowing that belly to be nice and soft so that it can expand with the in-breath and relax and soften with the out-breath. So taking a few moments, and maybe you're a long-term meditator and you already know where you like to follow the breath. But if you're new to this, just taking a moment and seeing, oh, where is my attention most easily resting today? Someplace in the head, someplace in the chest, or someplace maybe in the belly. There are some people who notice the entire expansion of the body as we breathe in and then the relaxation of the body. So seeing if any of these four ideas resonate with you. Once you have your spot that you're going to have be your focus of attention or your object of awareness, then the mind wanders, you know, the mind wanders, the thoughts or body sensations or emotions or one of the senses, hearing. And very gently, 
ideally aiming for non-judgment. So you know, we're, we're leaning into the idea that the mind is going to wander. The awareness is going to wander from the breath. And when it wanders, we simply notice what it's wandered to and then bring it back. In this first period of time, I would invite you to allow your awareness or invite your awareness to be with the body. So specifically aiming to notice what is it like to be in your body today? What's showing up as body sensations? or other senses, sound, taste, touch, feelings, touch in the body and on the surface of the body, hearing. So noticing body sensations and and the senses and noticing it for a period of time and then also noticing sensations of breath. So the breath is just really, it helps you keep this centerpiece, this center point, this kind of eye in the storm, so to speak. Like everything's always changing, you know, even the breath is always changing, but it is sort of this way of connecting to now again and again. Inviting in and seeing if you can just allow your body to be as it is today, maybe even welcoming the sensations and noticing if there's resistance to that and allowing that to be part of your experience as well. Maybe there are parts in your body that are telling you that they need a little bit of extra care. Or you're noticing some emotion in your body. And I'd welcome you to, if you can reach those parts of your body, to touch your body, if that's what it feels like it wants. Um, And if there are parts of the body where you can't reach easily or it's uncomfortable, then you can imagine that your breath, you can sort of see your breath or imagine it traveling to that part of the body and maybe opening up some space around a part of the body that's in difficulty or having difficulty.
Next, I'd invite you to tune into your emotional body. And for some people, this might, you might notice emotions in your mind. And they might, you know, it might be like a storm today. Maybe there's many emotions. Or it might be soft and quieter today. The, the emotions might be kind of quiet or undercover or a little bit hidden. There also might be numbness or, or freeze. So all of these emotional flavors or tones are welcome. And they might present, like I said, in the mind or they might present as sensations in the body. And so just like we did with body sensations, tuning into this emotional layer of your being, you'd like, and seeing if you can welcome what's here. And again, using hands or breath, if you're needing some extra love or comfort to support yourself with whatever's going on. And sometimes emotions are big and they need to move. So maybe that's what's going on for you today. I would invite you to listen to your body. Maybe it needs to sway. Maybe you need to stand up and shake. You don't have to be stationary. Be tuning in. What does my emotional body need and want today? And really giving yourself what you're needing today. Tuning in, seeing again if you can allow yourself to show up and be exactly as you are today. Noticing if you're repressing certain things. You don't have to dig. But just noticing, ah, oh, I feel like there's something under the surface. And maybe just noticing that, naming that, feeling how it feels to have something just under the surface. Again, you don't have to pry emotions out of yourself or force anything. In fact, I would encourage you to just be with the sensation of something being slightly under the surface if it's fitting for you today. So being with the emotional layer, using the birth as a grounding, centering, in the moment resource. Coming back to that again and again. And allowing yourself to be as you are. No need to fix or change. Now, inviting in the layer of mind, thoughts, perceptions, beliefs, judgments, just seeing what the mind is up to today. So you're turning this witness consciousness, this observer part of you that's always here, and you're looking at your own mind like, ah, what's it up to today? This is can be sometimes more challenging because the mind is, you know, it, it, we can be very identified with our thoughts. So seeing if you can take a few steps back from your own thoughts, from your own mind, and realize that there are just always thoughts, often thoughts, you know, maybe not always, but often thoughts running through there. And it's sort of like you're metaphorically leaning back and just sort of looking at the screen in front of you of like words, you know, almost like those thought bubbles in cartoons. 
just sort of watching the mind do its thing. And this is where the breath or a mantra or something to keep bringing you back to the present moment can be really useful because it's very easy to get lost in story, very easy to get lost in the mind and just start thinking something and then be like completely identified with the thinking. So let's practice together just watching the mind for a few minutes, knowing that it's a short amount of time. And so maybe even bringing a little bit of extra mm, intention, like, yes, I'm going to keep reconnecting to my breath. It's only a few minutes of watching the mind. Watch the mind and come back to my breath again and again. And then for these last few minutes, just allowing your witness consciousness, your awareness, your observer to rest in the now and just see what comes through your awareness, maybe a body sensation and an emotional awareness. So we're not directing the attention in any certain way. Or just noticing kind of an open awareness, what's here. And then we use the breath and the sensations of breath. Or if you have a mantra that you prefer using over breath. Coming back again and again to whatever your object of focus is. And you may notice that Actually, you can notice the breath in the background and also be aware of sensations and thoughts and feelings. I always sort of keep like a loose awareness, a loose um, touch point to the breath while you're also noticing these other things in your awareness. So let's practice together in this way for the last few minutes.
completing the meditation together the three alms if you'd like if you're making the sound of om, feeling the vibration in your own body if you're not able to make sound or you don't want to then just imagining the sound of om in your body breathing in the fruits of our practice today spread outwards in all directions and help to end the suffering of all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thank you so much for being in our community. We can create a space together. Thank mm.